Greetings, it is I, the Great One himself. C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C.com on the internet, Cynical Libertarian Society, down here with some CLSology for you. It's here in the People's Republic of Fort Collins. Clouds are rolling in, a little bit of thunder in the air. It might rain. I'm sitting here working on some photo editing, and there's something going through my mind, and just this was one of those moments that anarchy moments were created for, when I'm just standing here, and I have this stroke of brilliance that I have to share with you. So this might be, you've heard this before, this might be the shortest anarchy moment ever. All right, that's probably a lie. I lie all the time. All right, listen to this. I'm working at a, well, essentially an events center. And I'm working on a wedding that's happening there. I'm not doing the photography, but I'm doing some other stuff. So I'm talking to one of the staff members there. She's talking about a previous wedding, and she's saying, yeah, there's this guy who works here, and he took photographs, and oh, these photographs he took at that wedding are so wonderful. He's a photographer. He went to college for photography, and he's such a great photographer. I can't figure out why he's working as an intern here at this event center. And I said to her, well, did he charge you money for the photographs he took for you? And she said, no. And I said, that's why he's working as an intern at an event center instead of a photographer, because he's doing photography for free. And then, of course, she said what all photographers who work for free say. But she says, but he had his picture on the cover of a magazine. And I said, and by that we mean not a picture of him, as in his picture. We mean a picture he took. And I said, having your picture on the cover of a magazine doesn't pay the rent or buy groceries. And that's been mulling in my brain. And yeah, I can go off on how photographers who work for free are destroying the market, just like graphic designers who work for free destroy the market, just like website designers who work for free destroy the market, just like you know, whatever, plumbers who work for free destroy the market. Anybody who undercuts other people by working for free is a fucking idiot. But that's not what we're going to talk about. What we're talking about here is the medicated generation. To those of you out there in the medicated generation, for those of you who are going to college to follow your dreams, to be things like, I'm going to be a photographer. I'm going to go to college and be a photographer. And I'm thinking today, there's this friend of mine I know. She's been out of college for well over a year. She has her degree in theater. She's a fucking bartender. This guy has a college degree in photography. He's an intern at an event center. Let me say something to you fucking stupid little shits out there that are getting ready to ruin your lives by going to college. Let me lay upon you a fucking reality check. I make money doing photography. I do not have a degree in photography. I make money building websites. I just signed two new contracts with website clients. I do not have a degree in internet computers, website design, graphic design, never taken a computer course at college level in my life. I make money doing theater. Do not have a degree in theater. I make money doing video editing did not go to college to learn to edit videos or make movies. You kids going off to college are fucking stupid. You're going to college for shit that you can learn by doing it, by reading books, by watching YouTube and by using the internet. And you stupid little medicated fuckers, you're the ones who can't shut up about the internet and how you know everything because you have Google and how the internet is revolutionizing and changing learning and blah, blah, blah. And then you're going to college for shit like photography and theater and cinematography 
and website design. This is shit that you can learn yourself. Instead of saying, I'm talking to a guy today and he's talking to this person. This person's like, I don't think I want to go to college to do this thing. And that's the business that he runs. And he says to this 16 year old kid, that's stupid or not college, but she was going to go to a trade school. She, notice she, she, a girl, a fucking girl was intelligent enough to recognize that instead of going to college and getting a fucking degree in hyphenated studies, she wanted to go to a trade school and learn a trade. She's only 16, but she might be wife material. She might be marryable if she's that fucking smart. She was going to go to a trade school and learn something useful. He said to the 16 year old girl, that's stupid. I own a business that does that. I need help. Instead of paying money to a trade school, you come work for me. I will teach you everything you need to know and you'll get paid at the same time. And because this girl is obviously not a fucking feminazi, she said yes. She took him up. That's that is the future of America right there is people. Well, no, the future of America is fucking parasites. All of you goddamn fucking statist out there who should die. But women like her are the future of anarcho-capitalism. Women like her are the future of self-reliant individuals who can form a society where people aren't parasites. She is truly intelligent. She is getting paid, 16 years old, getting paid to learn a trade, which is a valuable trade and there's not a lot of people in the area where I live that do what she's learning. She is learning a valuable skill that she will be able to apply and make money. And you fucking stupid, and she's getting paid to do it. And you ignorant fucking shits out there. You fucking nasty little filthy fucking Apple Corporation cocksucking. Oh, I have a Google is so wonderful. Look, I have a MacBook. Ah, I'm the smartest generation ever. Ah, you're going to college for shit like hyphenated studies and communications and international relations and photography and theater. And then you get out, can you, you got a theater degree, can you make money in theater? No, you can't. I can. I don't have a fucking theater degree. I get paid to do theater. Fuck you. You get, can you get a fucking, can you make money doing photography with your photographer degree? No, you can't. You know why? Because you're a fucking idiot. I don't have a degree in photography. I get paid to do photography. You stupid little shits, you're fucking stupid, okay? And your parents are fucking three times as stupid as you because your parents are letting you go to college for this shit instead of beating your fucking asses. You Stefan Molyneux, just shit all over yourself. Shut up. Nobody cares. If my motherfucking daughter came in the room and she said, Daddy, I'm going to go to college and major in African American studies, I would beat her ass until blood ran down her legs. Fucking beat her and beat her. And I'd beat her until she went into shock and died. No fucking daughter of mine is going to be a barista for the rest of her fucking life. No, you're not. You're not going to fucking major in African American studies. You're not going to major in motherfucking communications. You're not going to major in theater. You're not going to major in social work. You're not going to major in child development. Get some fucking parenting out there. And we don't, I don't expect parenting from women because women are fucking stupid. Except for this one 16 year old girl who's learning a trade and getting paid. She's like the only fucking woman in the Fort Collins area who's, who's fucking marriage material. She can have any man she wants. Of course, there aren't very many good men to choose from. Poor girl. Nobody expects anything from you women when it comes to parenting. But men, if you want to be a real fucking father, when your daughter or your son comes in, I'm going to major in Hispanic studies and international relations. Just beat their ass. Beat their fucking ass. Do not worry about Stefan Molyneux and his peaceful parenting shit. That is, there's no negotiation. You don't talk to them about their feelings. You beat their fucking ass. You make your kids fucking learn something useful, something they can get a fucking job. You want to do photography? Learn that shit on your own. Build the business on the side while you're working a real fucking job making some fucking money. You want to do website design? Get a real fucking job first. Do website design on the side. You want to make movies? Just go to fucking make a movie. You ever heard of YouTube? Make a fucking movie. Put it on YouTube. Work a real goddamn job. Learn how to make a movie by fucking making a movie, not by going to class, some fucking college and sitting in a class this is some fat ass failed professor who's never made a fucking movie in his life trying to tell you what the fuck movie making is. 
get a fucking clue, you stupid little shits.